Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about all the things that I will happily spend a lot of money on, items that I think are worth investing in, and what I think are worth spending that little bit more on. So a while ago, I made a video on 15 things I no longer buy to save money. So I'll leave that down below if you wanna check that out. But that video seemed quite popular, and so I thought I would make this video, which is the opposite to that. So I am quite strict with my money. I'm quite a frugal person when it comes to like my personal finance. But I do think buying quality items is definitely worth it. I don't buy a lot, I don't spend a lot of money, but when I am buying something, I want to make sure it's gonna be worth me spending the money. So if that means I have less things because each item costs more, then I would rather have quality over quantity. I do want to say though, some things that come at quite an expense aren't always worth it, but I would just say before buying things, do your research, read reviews, you know, read a few articles, forums that recommend brands or certain products. So the first thing that I think is worth spending a decent amount of money on is a mattress. I was going to say a bed but the mattress is the most important part really. So for ages before we moved into this house I needed a new mattress but I knew that I was going to change the bed when we moved into this house so I was holding on for ages but I was getting a bad back in the morning when you can start to feel like the springs in the mattress. So it was definitely time for me to get a new one but again with most things they can range from being really cheap to super 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 expensive but I would just go with what you can afford but try not to scrimp and scrape on it and try and test a few out go to bed shops, rely on them. Obviously there's all types of different ones you can get. Yeah, so with anything that costs a lot of money, you probably want to see it in person, you probably want to test it out, or at least make sure there's a good returns policy. We spend so much of our lives sleeping, and sleep is so important for us to function well. There's nothing worse than if you've stayed somewhere and you wake up and you think you've had a really bad night's sleep because the bed was uncomfortable. Yeah, so I just think that's something quite important to invest in a good mattress, and some decent sheets and pillows to go with it. I absolutely love my sleep, and I think quality sleep is so worth it. Number two is to invest in a good sofa. So again, it doesn't have to cost thousands or anything like that, but try them out, sit on them. You might prefer a softer one or a firmer one, but something that's gonna withstand the test of time because it's not something you wanna keep buying all the time because they're expensive. One of my favorite things to do is get cozy on the sofa with a blanket, watch a film and get some snacks. So for me, having a comfortable sofa that I can lounge on is important. And at number three is good quality clothes. So as I said at the beginning, I don't really buy loads. I'm not always buying clothes. I don't really shop online. But when I do go and buy clothes, I actually feel like I need to buy some clothes at the moment. Fast fashion and cheaply made clothes just don't last. I often feel like with some cheap clothes, after I wash them a couple of times, they just look terrible, they're bobbly, they shrink. And especially being a slightly curvier girl, I'm certainly not petite anyway, I just find that I can't really wear cheap clothes. If I buy clothes that are really good quality, I feel much more confident. I feel like secure in them. And I just feel like they flatter my shape a lot better. So the odd time when I do want to buy a dress, I probably won't buy one that's £20, but there's certain brands that I do think are worth buying from, and I'm not talking designer or anything like that, but some of my favourites I would say are like Next, John Lewis, obviously John Lewis sell a variety of brands within the store. I love Whistles, but that is a bit more expensive. Mint Velvet, again is a bit more expensive, but you can tell the quality. Fat Face, and there's certain Fat Face things that I really like, and sometimes there are some things that you think I could get that, like a new look or prime mark and it looks exactly the same half the price but some things there is a big difference in the quality the fit the shape and everything and I tend to find that I keep them for years and years and years they're just like staple tops staple dresses that I'll wear time and time again until like it's falling apart usually <laughs> so for me I'm happy to spend that little bit more on clothes because it's not something I buy often and I want them to last me a long time and just along the same line as clothes a good winter coat which sounds daft but especially in the UK like it can get really cold in the winter and if you like your normal and being outside then a good winter coat is crucial a really well padded one a waterproof one preferably they can sometimes come at a cost but again you usually have it for years and it's so worth not being able to feel the cold shoes as well I do think are important I have quite wide feet so sometimes I struggle to find comfortable shoes now a lot of shops do offer wide fit but in the past when I have bought some cheaper shoes compared to some dearer ones I have massively noticed the difference and underwear I'm very fussy with what underwear I wear it took me a long time time to find bras and knickers that I thought were like super comfortable and still like on the search always like to discover new ones and again this just totally depends on the person you are I know some people think I'm mad for buying a Victoria's Secret bra but for me the comfort just doesn't compare to anything I've tried elsewhere but if you've got any recommendations please leave them below but there's nothing worse than being so uncomfortable in your underwear that you just can't wait to take it off when you get home wires sticking in your underarm and again I think once you've got a couple of staple 
colours like beige, black that go with everything, then you don't really need to buy them that often. And the fourth thing that I will 100% spend money on and never look back is holidays and adventures. So, so far in my life, I've been on some brilliant holidays and trips and I've never once looked back and thought, wow, I wish I'd never spent that on that holiday or I wish I didn't go to that restaurant or go on that helicopter ride. I do remember what some of them cost and I would spend it again in a heartbeat to have that memory, that holiday. I think at the time when you're booking it, if something's really expensive, it can seem like, oh wow. But I think for me, that's what life is about. Exploring new places, going on amazing adventures with the people that you love and just doing like once in a lifetime things. The memories are so, so worth it. I wish I could go back to those times, but I've got lots of time, hopefully, to make more memories. But I would say, depending what your priorities are, holidays are a luxury. And I think if you've got other goals that you're working towards, it's just about knowing what's important to you. If you're trying to save for a house deposit, a car, a wedding, you can't always have it all. So sometimes it's just prioritizing what's at the top of your list. Now, maybe at the top of your list is an amazing holiday or a trip of a lifetime that you've always wanted to do, but I guarantee you it's so worth it. Save up for it, go on the trip, have an amazing time, you know, do things that you might never do again. That is when I felt the most alive and loving life and they bring me a lot of joy to look back on the pictures and think about the memories and know that hopefully I can have those times again in the future. And at number five is some electronics. Now I say some because my phone is quite old. And so with my phone, I have a really cheap SIM and that's just what works for me. I just hate paying a contract that's like 60 pound a month and it works perfectly fine, touch wood. But there are certain things like the TV, you know, I like to watch a good film as I said earlier when it's my downtime snuggling on the sofa and watching a good film is like one of the highlights of my week so having like you know a good screen good quality one that's reliable as well so hopefully it's not going to break on you or at least offers good warranty and good speakers to go with it or there might just be good speakers built in the tv I think a laptop computer if you work on them a lot or obviously if you don't really use one then there's not much point in spending a lot of money on it anything you use it gets a lot of abuse that you use daily I think is worth spending the money on and and at number six that I think is worth spending money on is books or anything to do with your education. So if you've got the money and you want to take a course or improve yourself in some way, then I think you should definitely save up the money and spend that on a course, whatever that may be. Or, you know, if you're wanting to educate yourself on a certain topic, reading books, I mean, you can buy a hard copy. If you've got Audible or something like that, you can listen to them. But I feel like that's never a waste of money because learning new information, I feel, is you know, how we improve in life, how we learn things. So long as you don't buy books and then never read them then it's not a waste of money and at number seven which can be quite an expensive one but I think is worth it is buying a reliable car so after the house the car is probably the next most expensive thing or it can be it doesn't have to be but they are pretty costly when things go wrong or if you have one on finance they can be pretty costly either way so for me having a reliable car is quite important and I think with this it can be a bit hit and miss like you can buy new cars and they have problems the car world you know is a whole other conversation but from the research I've done, Japanese cars seem to be the most reliable. And so you'd like to think if you buy a Japanese make car, then you'll be all right. And they come with quite a long warranty, I think, and also very safe. And number eight is flights. So this is a funny one because if you go into Europe, it's usually from the UK, EasyJet, Jet2, Ryanair that I tend to fly with. So they're always going to be cheap. But going on a longer haul flight, going a bit further afield, usually I would try and fly with Emirates. They're one of the best airlines that I I've flown with. Their economy is super comfortable and of course they've got business and first class if you can afford that but I just find Emirates economy is really good. I've flown to Dubai with them and I've flown to Australia with them and I don't think I would go with any other airline just because especially when it's such a long flight just that little bit of extra comfort is important to me. I always find the staff super helpful, the food really nice, just the amenities and things. So yeah that is just something I think is worth spending a bit of extra money on but I think if you're only going on a couple of hours you know sort of four or five hours flying it's probably not worth it unless you've got the money to spend but I know for some people it's much more important to have that extra money on the holiday with them and I totally agree with that but if you can afford just that extra comfort on your flight then do think it's worth it and at number nine is a bit of a random one but it's tea towels especially if you don't have a dishwasher like me I've gone through a couple of tea towels since being in this house I didn't realize it was such a thing before moving out because we always had a dishwasher at home but you will notice if you are drying things a lot how some of them literally just like move the water around the bowl or the, the 
glass or whatever it is. I have found the KitchenAid tea towels really good. So you can buy these in quite a big pack in Costco or I picked up a couple in HomeSense. HomeSense have quite a few good ones as well. I also asked my partner James what he thought is worth splurging on and he had quite a few different ones to me. So I thought I would just run through those as well. So the first one he said is towels slash bath sheets. So he loves a huge towel and he likes it to be really soft. Whereas I'm the opposite. I like quite hard towel. I don't feel like a soft towel dries you. But good quality towels is really important to James. I guess it gives you that bit of extra luxury as well after you've got out your bath or your shower. Again, I feel like M&S, John Lewis, Costco all sell like good bath towels. He also said Calvin Klein boxers. James loves Calvin Klein boxers. He finds they're the only ones that are comfortable for him, but I'm not sure how many men exactly watch this channel. But yeah, they are expensive, but again, comfort is most important. The third thing he said was Warburton's bread. And it was actually funny because I read an article last night about this guy who was buying this really cheap bread for years because that's all I'd ever known. And he thought people were like ludicrous to pay like £3.50 for some bread. And his mate told him to try it and he's been converted ever since and will not buy the cheap bread. He thinks it's so worth it and tastes so nice. So I do like a piece of bread, like tiger bread's lovely, but James loves his bread and he particularly loves Warburton's bread. And the fourth thing he said, which is super important, is paint. And to buy good quality, durable paint. Dulux is always brilliant paint. And then you've got like the higher end paints of like the little green paint company, Farrow and Ball. I mean, there's loads out there, but they're like probably the most popular ones that I see all the time. But yeah, if you're gonna paint yourself and save yourself the money of getting in decorators and things, then he thinks it's definitely worth investing in some good brushes, some good rollers, and yeah, just good quality paint. Because it makes such a difference when you apply it to the wall. Also like wipeable paints are amazing. They cost that little bit extra, but if you can use a magic eraser, which I share in some of my cleaning videos, you just add water to and any mark will come off the paint without disturbing the paint. It's so good. And at the last thing he said was toilet roll. It's like if you go to somebody's house and they've got good quality toilet roll, you're like, oh, these are posh. But yeah, toilet roll is expensive. So, you know, I can see why you would buy cheaper toilet roll and you know, I wanna save some money in that area. But you can tell such a difference between like two ply, three ply, if it's like rough or soft. So, yeah, we do like the nice toilet roll. Yeah, we try and get a happy medium of good quality toilet roll, but toilet roll is not like super expensive. So that is it for the items that we think are worth splurging on. I think it's just about finding the right balance of not being ripped off and spending well more than you need to and also not just going for like the cheapest option you can find because if it is something that's decent it's probably not going to be the cheapest option. Also if it's something that you use every day, if it's something you wear every day then working out the cost of the item per the wear or use is going to be so worth it. Like when people say oh I've had my money's worth out of it because it may have cost you a bit in the beginning but for the amount of times that you use it, it's probably gonna be worth it. And something else I think is good to think about is that if you buy good quality the first time round, then you're probably gonna save yourself money in the long run because you won't need to replace the item that often. Whereas if you buy something cheap first time round, you're probably gonna replace it numerous times and end up spending twice as much than you would have done if you just invested in the quality piece in the first place. So buy less and focus on quality and your house will also be less cluttered. So let me know in the comments what you're happy to split on what you think is worth investing in. Thank you so much for watching. I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video and I will see you on Monday at 7 for a brand new video. Thanks guys, bye!